Today I'm going to have a go at doing a scene from the Aristocats. This is where uh, we've got um, Thomas O'Malley sitting on some sort of uh, rock there with a sort of grassy background behind there. So I'm going to start off with Thomas. Uh, I like to start off sort of like with the eyes area. on the this is going to be the background bits and pieces here a little flower just a few flowers here and there that's all it's got in the original and you can find the original drawing here somewhere on the internet I'm sure so what I'm doing now is I'm using sort of a lime green color there this is the shuttle art pencils I'm using and I'm using this just on the background at the moment so literally going around everything else normally in the past I've usually done the foreground then worked on the background but for some reason I've seen other people do this and I've tried this technique myself and for some reason it does tend to work a little better because I don't know it just helps your foreground to stand out again so you want to get the background out of the way with first and some people tend to do a wonderful blurry background with a good shallow depth of field and then work on the foreground and that seems to work really wonderful so I'm just adding various different colors here to some of the plants that may or may not be seen here so this is roughly what it looks like in the original scene from this uh, from this film and that's basically Thomas O'Malley actually leering over at the Duchess uh, the cat that he quite likes the look of that's what he's looking at there that's why he's got that particular face but we can't see him properly yet how he really looks and his colors those colors are very important just as important as the drawing and sometimes even more important if that makes sense just getting them right so we've got all this lots of bits of grass and varying different colors of blues and greens and yellows in the background there And I, that's what I'm using is varying different types of blues and greens and turquoise, aquamarines, whatever colours. This is just kind of like, especially around the rock area here, we're sitting on this sort of like an undercoat for it. And now using a blender pencil round here to just literally blend everything in and now working on the, the few flowers that we got we're going to dot a few flowers over the back here as well so that uh, and not make too much of a of a thing of them at all but um, yeah they'll have some other colors within them as well main focus of attention is this big guy here now doesn't he look larger than I'm sure in scale he would be larger than a normal cat he appears that way doesn't he that the look of him is more like someone like a lynx or a, a cheetah or something like that and sort of putting like a, as I say the, the undercoat here he's, he's a gingery he's a ginger Tom obviously so I'm going to add some more, sort of more of an orangey over the top of that brownie colour. Uh, because I really want him to look like a ginger tom. Don't worry because this is going to be blended in with your blending in pencil. And then another more sort of orangey colour over the top here. And now we're blending them in. Now you see what happens once you start to blend blend this in we start filling all the gaps and it makes the color look a lot more richer doesn't it a few more sort of highlight shadows and the lights there and then again blend those in as well and I'm using a, a white white pencil here these are wax based and uh, it depends what uh, 
what type of pencil you use. You tend to use oil based, wax based. These are wax based. And when it gets a little bit too much on there, it's worth it. We go add some uh, yellow eyes. He's got yellow eyes there. It looks like felt pen, doesn't it, rather than pencil? Because it's quite the colours are extreme. The colours are, are really, really prominent. I would say on these. So now I'm working with the the black pencil. This is what makes it really pop out. Now this is how you'll find in your original animations and the scene from this will look not too dissimilar to this what I'm doing right now and then the same with the background don't want to overdo too much of the background just what's supposed to be seen as more of a foreground uh, as more of a background and now we're uh, still working with the black pencil on the rock it, it, it I guess it's some sort of rock and again using the blender to help uh, mix all the colors in to make them look a little bit more smoother I put some tape around the edges which I've just removed now um, and that gives a nice finish to the to all the edges there so all that remains for me to do now is to finish off the mouth there because he's got a smile on his face there we go he likes what he's seen he's looking at the lady down there that's what it is there we go famous scene from the aristocats there's thomas o'malley there thank you very much for watching do subscribe to my channel so that you'll be up to date with all my latest uploads see you all again very soon on youtube cheers thank you bye